Discoverers, Alyssa from the Discovery Science and Technology Centre here. Now this school holidays is all about bloom and blossom. So we're going to be having a look at experiments you can do outside this spring to involve colour and light. Hand up if we like bubbles. Yes, I love bubbles. Now some of you might already have a bubble wand at home. And you can make some pretty awesome bubbles. But what about if we don't have a bubble wand? What if you don't even have any bubble mix? Well, today we're gonna have a go at making our own bubble wand and bubble mix. For this experiment, you're going to need a tray that you can add lots of water to. We're going to need a lot of water. Going to need some dishwashing liquid. You can use some corn syrup or glucose syrup. We need string, preferably not plastic. It's best if it's a wool or a cotton or a yarn that we can use. And we're going to need two straws or two sticks. I've got two straws because it's a little bit easier for me to get the string. But if you don't have straws at home, sticks work too. Okay, let's make up our bubble mix. We're going to measure out two cups of dishwashing liquid. I've got a half cup measure, so I'm going to count four. And two, three, and four. Great, so I've got my dishwashing liquid. I want three cups of water, which is how many half cups? Six, two, four, five, and last one. Six half cups, so that's three cups of water. Now, do you notice that I didn't make too many bubbles when I was doing this? We don't want to make it too bubbly just yet. We still need to add half a cup of corn syrup or glucose syrup. Now, this is really thick, so it can be tricky to get out. In fact, I think I'm going to have to be very patient to get this out. Now again, once we put it in our container, we don't want to make too many bubbles, but it can be really tricky to mix in. So we're going to have to be patient and maybe get our hands a little bit messy. Okay, there's my half cup. I'm going to put it in and time to get messy. Now lots of you have probably made bubble mix with dishwashing liquid and water before. Why are we adding the corn syrup or the glucose syrup? Well, this can make your bubbles last a little bit longer. Sometimes bubbles pop way too early. This can make it a little bit thicker, more viscous, which means that Sometimes our bubbles are able to last longer. And you can see I'm mixing it very carefully so I don't make too many bubbles. And once your corn syrup has mixed into your water and soap, we can get on to making our bubble wand. Here we go. Okay. I think mine's all mixed in. If yours is, needs a little bit more mixing, you can keep mixing away while I start to get my bubble one ready. 
Now, for this bubble wand, we're going to use some string and either some straws or two sticks. My string's all tangled. Now, you can choose how long you want your string. The longer your string, the bigger your bubble. But, like we said before, sometimes bubbles pop. So if it's really long, it might be more likely to pop. So I'm gonna take my string and put it through my straw. This can be a little bit tricky sometimes. If you're using two sticks, you can tie it to each end of your stick. Let's see. <gasps> Now I had to go get a little stick to help me get my string through my straw. Now I remember I said if you don't have a straw you can use a stick instead and just tie it to each end. Now that's one straw done, I've got to do the other one. Now that I've got my little stick to help, it's going to be a lot easier. I'd love to know if you're using a metal straw, how well this one turns out. I know we've got some great people with their metal straws at home. And you know what? I've got a metal straw that I might try this with at home as well. Here we go. Now I've got my string all the way through my straw. And I've got string through both. Ends. What I need to do now is tie it off. You could use maybe a meter of string and make one this big, or you could go really, really big. I think I'm going to keep it small for now, and maybe I'll try a big one later on. I'm going to cut my string at the length that I want it. Tie the two ends of my string together, just like this. And then, I'm gonna dip that string in the water. See if I can make a bubble using our brand new bubble mix. Here we go. Whoa, I ended up making a really big one. Let's see if I can make some bubbles with this. We want to get all of that string in our bubble mix, mix it around, and we need a nice big film all the way through. Can you see that? Can you see how it's got colors going through it and lines? Now, if you're having a nice windy day, you might actually get the bubbles blowing for you. I want you to see if you can spot a Loki dog in the background of this, he loves when I make Let's give it a go. If you don't have enough wind, oh, you might need to run, which I think I'm gonna be doing with mine. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> one more try, and then I'm going to go for a smaller bubble one. Let's give it a go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna try for a smaller bubble one. Now remember, with our experiments, they don't always work first time. This is why we experiment. So we can find out new things, find out what works best, and how we can have some very cool outdoor science fun. Let's give this a try with a slightly smaller bubble wand. Let's see what happens this time. If you can get a really big bubble one to work, I'd love to see how you go. Let's see. So I'm covering my string in my bubble mix. And whoa, did you see that one? Let's try again. Whoa, okay. We're getting somewhere. Now for our bubbles, we need some water. We need soap, 
we added some corn syrup, syrup or glucose syrup, which you can do if you like. We make a film and we stretch it out until it becomes a bubble. And what are we filling it with when we're stretching it out? Air! Wow, did you see that one? I think I'm going to have a go at making some more of these. Let's see. <laughs> We've got some awesome bubble fun. I said blossom and bloom are about color and light. Well, when you manage to make a really big bubble, I want you to have a close look. With the light from the sun, you might get lots of color. Do you know what I'm talking about? Rainbows. Because rainbows are sunlight that hits something at a certain angle that breaks up the light and makes it into a rainbow. Usually, that's a raindrop. But in our case, it's a bubble. Okay, let's see how your bubble looks. Thank you for joining us for Bloom and Blossom School Holidays.